What's going on YouTube, Hayden back making another brand new crypto video. In today's video we will be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Dash. So shout out to Robert Jones for commenting that below. You are the lucky guy who gets to be shouted out. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> I also wanted to point out, uh, a little bit ago we reviewed a coin called Storm. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have watched that video in the past. But I wanted to point this out. Sorry. We'll go Storm to Bitcoin. Check this out. Boom. That is wild, guys. That is wild. Literally, if you go back to my last video where I stated that this was going to, like, this was bound to happen, that we were going to see a nice pop somewhere based on this downtrend you can see mm. more or less something like this I, I think I had it, it drawn like this where I had a downtrend like that but based off this line right here you can see we have a horizontal line being drawn on the bottom it, it gets pushed we get crammed so basically something like that, we can almost draw this down to here. And this would be more of the effective triangle. Reason being, this is when the coin was first dropped, right here. This is when, this area is when the coin first was released to the public. And you can see the price corrected itself, went very, very, very far. So this is the proper way to draw it. Now that we come down, you'll see we got crammed right here. Pressure built, pop. I wanted to show you this as an example because something like this, if you put 200 bucks in right here and sold it way, way, way at the top here, you'd make around four times your money. So think about that. I just want to show you a coin like this that goes up that much. I want to show you guys that this is possible. A lot of people think, oh, you know, where's the money going to come from? It's just, it can't go up. There's no money or the market's down. Like, look, I want you to look at Storm up 167% in a day, 24 hours. Look at that. This shows you the power and the possibility of other coins following it. Yes, I know Storm isn't number one, number two, number three. There's not a crap ton of money in Storm compared to Litecoin or Bitcoin, but jumps like this can be made. So don't be like, oh, the market's bearish. Things are, aren't going to go up. This is a perfect example. So I want to thank whoever it was who commented to check out Storm. I think this is a perfect, beautiful example of what can happen in cryptocurrency and how you just don't know. And this is why we read graphs, because if this is pretty calculated. This is pretty freaking obvious. It funnels in. Wait for the breakout, buy in, boom. You could have sold here, anticipated the dip, which honestly I probably would have done, but wow. What a jump, what a jump. Let's move on to Litecoin. Litecoin's similar, guys. Like, moving out to the daily chart. Ooh, sorry, did not mean to click the weekly, the daily chart. Yes, with a coin like Litecoin. Oh, let's just, we didn't even look at the cryptocurrency market cap. Let's do that quick. We're going to refresh the page. And as you can see, we're having a pretty up day. Market's looking somewhat good. Around $340 billion in the market. But Bitcoin dominance is up too. Nice. 44.3%. That's nice to see. But for the most part, we are doing okay. Volume is kind of low for Litecoin. Interesting. But looking at Litecoin right now. Look at this chart right here. I just want you to look like it is possible that there can be a breakout. A lot of people are bearish and been talking negatively. Oh, Litecoin's going to go down. Yeah, it's possible. You know, it really is possible that Litecoin, Bitcoin, they can go down. But look at Storm. For all the people who doubted Storm, look at that. You could have made four times your money in less than 24 hours you could have turned 
like 200 into 800, 2,000 into 8,000, 20,000 into 80,000, like that. That is wild. So the fact that Storm can do that with the market the way it is now, anything can do that with the way the market is now. I just want you guys to think about that. So don't be so negative on, on Bitcoin and Litecoin. And this actually has a nicer chart. When we looked at Storm, that was a descending triangle. That means the bears were pushing it down and the bulls were holding it at the bottom. And eventually the bulls won and it broke out. Same thing here. The, bull, the bulls are pushing us up, setting these higher highs. The bears are pushing us down, setting these lower lows. Eventually, it's all going to be funneled into one point, and then we got to see. It's going to be a war. Boom or boom. We got to wait for that and see what happens. I'm more towards being bear uh, sorry, bullish on Litecoin, but look, we're almost, we touched D. We're on E. Look at how clear this is. We have, we have a starting point, A, B, C, D, E. E is the end. That means something's going to happen very 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 soon that's why i want you guys to pay attention to this because it's very interesting very interesting if you ask me let's see ooh, ooh, ooh. this is the target i'm just looking at okay let's see right here we're going to take this and we're going to see what the target rate is. How much we can project to see Litecoin moving. Just like that. We're going to take this, put a stop loss maybe like right here. And we're going to move, oh, did not mean to do that. We're going to move this right here. Basically at the breakout, we're going to assume it goes right here. So this is pretty much what I'm hoping Litecoin does. This is the top where I think Litecoin could potentially go. I think that's the highest it can possibly reach at the coin, the currency it's at right now, the price it's at right now. Definitely setting an all-time high. If we break out in the upwards, that'll be nice. But this is a beautiful pattern that I'm hoping and assuming, I don't want to say assuming, inferring we should break out from, but it's very possible to go down too, so you got to be cautious. If you do buy the breakout, wait for it to go up, set a stop loss, I'm probably at the lowest point right here, maybe at this, um, the lowest, or even lower, maybe right around here at $97, buy in maybe, hmm. if we do break up, I'd set the low maybe like 10% less than what you bought it from. But just the way Litecoin is is lining up, it looks really good right now. We're at a hundred and almost one hundred and seventy dollars. We're we're staying strong on the four hour. We are staying strong on the daily too. I would wouldn't be surprised to see a nice movement. Well, what's happening right now in Litecoin is literally at this very moment. I'm going to move this over. We're we're retesting. The all time we're retesting the middle moving average you can see we tried once on the 21st which was two days ago we bottomed bounced off used it as support and are now retesting that middle moving average once again what ha needs to happen with litecoin is we need to break above the middle moving average we need it to act as support for us and not resistance once we can break above that we then have to retest this huge downtrend line, and then it's fair game. Then I believe we can go and make progress moving up. But right now, it's we're pretty much stuck. You can see retesting the strong line of resistance as well as that middle moving average. That's pretty much our biggest test right now, whether or not we can break through those two points. I think we can. I do think there needs to be more volume within Litecoin, but I do think it's possible. Moving on to Bitcoin, you'll notice a very similar trend as well. Also, we were going to review Dash, so let's just pull up Dash quick. Cool. Get that all set up for you guys. So basically, Bitcoin's doing the same thing as Litecoin was. 
which is quite funny. I'm going to just zoom in here so you can see. Yeah, literally the same. It almost looks like we're staring at the same exact chart, ma ba mainly because they're piggybacking each other and they're both moving. So if we see a breakout in Litecoin, expect a breakout in Bitcoin as well. So let's just go to Dash to US dollars. We'll do the Kraken one. So basically everything that I said for Litecoin, it applies to Bitcoin too. We need to retest this middle moving average, break above it, use it as support, and then try and break past that line of resistance. If we can get above that, we're going up. Sky's the limit. So especially anticipate. I'm anticipating a nice run for both of those. A nice play. Let's check out Ethereum. Draw some graphs again so you guys can see. Hopefully you guys notice this very obvious downtrend. Something like that, I'd say for now. Mm. Yeah, that's about right. Huge downtrend with Ethereum as well. So basically what we're looking for with Ethereum is a nice bounce bringing us higher. But this is a similar chart to Storm because you can see we have that one downtrend line and we have one line of support. So it keeps pushing us down and the bulls are holding us above this line. Eventually we're going to build pressure here and we're going to see which way we break out. If you see us go above that, expect a nice play from Ethereum. So Ethereum making some moves, still declining and recovering going back to, uh, I would say pulling back due to that massive run-up it has, it's still uh, quite bearish, but I do think it will start to end very soon. I think we will start to see an upwards trend with Ethereum towards the, I'd say, m beginning, mid of April. We should see a breakout, hopefully, and move up higher. Let's look at Dash quick. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. Huge downtrend. We could actually make this a little nicer. Why isn't it letting me move it? Okay. I'd say something like that almost would be a proper graph. Just like that. So basically, Dash is acting like Bitcoin right now. I mean, sorry, Dash is acting like Ethereum right now. With this massive downtrend you can see. It also has some nice lines of support. Right around here is one. And then we have another one. Mm. I'd say right around here. Wow, interesting. Okay, so Dash seems to be on its on the end of interesting chart. Dash is on the end of its its run right now. So for Dash, I'd honestly be paying attention to this like within the next day or two. We could see a, a possible breakout. We're coming up to retest the middle moving average on the four hour chart. Quite oversold, but not yet. Using this line as support, we're probably going to funnel into here. I don't think we're going to break above it. It is possible, though, being at the end. If we do break above this line and we do break above the middle moving average, I'd buy in and expect a bull run. If we don't, this is a good buy zone right here, mainly because if we move all the way back, you'll see how much support it has on that bottom line right here. So basically... I'm going to zoom out once again. You can see how this is pretty much the end of its run. It's either going to end here or it's going to end here before it pops up. I don't see it going lower than here because that's pretty much the flat line rock bottom for Dash. I really cannot see it going much, much lower than that. There's way too much support right here. So keep an eye out on Dash. I think that's a good call. See whether or not it goes here or if it goes lower. But this is a good buy zone. Unless we can break above that line, then I'd buy in. But otherwise, that's going to sum up the video for today, guys. What I am going to do is I'm going to do a Q&A 
uh, tomorrow. So if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I do have a couple that you guys have commented, which I'm going to answer tomorrow. Make a separate video completely. Probably release it midday, and then I'm going to do the normal um, technical analysis in the afternoon. But um, otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment below as to what your favorite altcoin is. And the raffle is still going on, so if you'd like to enter, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment raffle below, and you will be automatically entered. Other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, Bitcoiners. Hello.